Hey Pisces! Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a general time list reading for you. I am filming both formats, one in which you see my face and one in which you see the cards. So you will see me looking up just as a reference there to make sure that the other view is aligned and the cards are being, you know, focused and all of that. So as someone mentioned, it's not a hostage situation, okay? It's just me <laughs> making sure that the cards are properly set. All right, my loves. So let's see. Universe, what is the ideal message that Pisces needs to hear right now? What is the best advice, the most powerful confirmations, and the most accurate predictions for Pisces? Let's see. By the way, you guys, are you subscribed to the channel? <laughs> That's Luna. That's my doggy. Um, because apparently YouTube has been on like unsubscribing people without their consent. YouTube is going a little haywire. I don't know. But yeah, just check and see. Oh. All right. I can already tell that this is going to be a bit of a different reading because I rarely ever feel inclined to pull the cards in the way that I just did. Those of you who know me are probably going to be able to tell. All right, so first card here, we got the Four of Cups, Pisces. So some of you could be receiving different offers. But for some reason, they may not completely convince you as the best choice. I feel like some of you are feeling like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Maybe some of you have even said that recently. Like, if something were to happen in the way I want it, then that's great. But I would be concerned about this. And if things were to go in the opposite way... I would be concerned about that. So it's like either way there is a concern, it seems, Pisces. Take it if it resonates, of course. I see that some of you are just not entirely upbeat. You may not be feeling your best at this time, Pisces, with the Four of Cups. I'm reading cards upright, by the way, and look at what we have here. We got the Sun. The Sun is showing up here in the challenge position though, so that's super interesting. Maybe right now you are not feeling your best because there is a lack of clarity. Some of you could be having an issue with a Leo, possibly. There is a lack of clarity here that is preventing you from enjoying a part of a process, it seems. In the recent past with the Queen of Pentacles, I see you being very very prosperous, very abundant, very at ease, you know, everything showing up as it needs to. In the past, things may have been just easier for you somehow. Some of you, um, I just picked up on some of you saying, well, it has never really been easy. Fair enough. But certain aspects of the physical realm, maybe your money, maybe your health, maybe your routines, there seems to be something that at some point flowed and right now it doesn't feel like it's flowing it may feel like it's just kind of really it's something that it almost feels like you need to push that boulder um, up the hill every day and as soon as you take a breather it just rolls back down take it if it resonates <clears throat> You're going through a transformation. Some of you are in a process that is taking way longer than you would like it to. And that doesn't mean that something is not going to go the way that you want it. I get this vibe of kind of like the universe putting pressure on you by making you wait, by making you be in this like limbo of uncertainty. And by kind of pushing you in that way, I see you getting stronger. Kind of like the di the diamonds, you know, when they're pressed, um, when they, you know, you know what I mean. When they're coming to be diamonds and they're not um, coal anymore or whatever, um, it's out of pressure. Long, prolonged, intense pressure. <laughs> and I feel like some of you 
are being exposed to the process in this way precisely because almost, spirit almost seems to be wanting to strengthen you in that sense. And, you know, you may not be clear on why things are happening the way they are or why things are not happening the way they aren't. And it may be frustrating, but what I'm getting here is that you are in active transformation. And that this is not in any way a mistake or anything like that. You got the Five of Swords here in the future showing up. So with the Five of Swords, I would say there could be opposing ideas, opposing opinions, a little bit of, you know, unstable energy. But it seems like at the end of the day, your desire is the one that wins. I feel like other people may have some concerns. But all of those concerns are put to rest because of divine assistance or help or, you know, some, something that had to do with your manifestation techniques or abilities. You are being represented here by the moon. And look at how interesting here. You got the sun on top of the moon. So definitely, you know, there is a lack of clarity. There is a limited perspective on how things are unfolding. And that perhaps makes some of you nervous. Things are... It's like you can see kind of how they're unfolding, but not really. So there may be a lot of perspectives that are not... Not perspectives. There's a lot of facts that are not being disclosed to you. There could be a lot of angles, worries. It's like I see almost like a group of people discussing your situation. So this could be at work. This could be um, a group of clients. This could be a family. This could be, um, you know, any kind of dynamic that involves other people somehow looking at you and discussing you. <laughs> And they may have their concerns, and you may not know what their concerns are. Take it if it resonates. There's a lot of your subconscious that is playing a role here. So the more you can um, do like subconscious reprogramming, the better it's all gonna go. I don't know for who that message you know is for, but take it if it applies. It will resonate if it if it applies to you. So in your environment, we have here the devil. So there could be a Capricorn around you. Um, there could be toxic energies around you. There could be um, energies that almost tempt you into staying out of your best path. Whether this is people, you know, a toxic person around you or habits, tendencies, addictions. There could be something kind of like around that wants to bring you down, that wants to hold you back somehow. And that energy or that person could be taking the opportunity, you know, if right now things are foggy, they're not clear, you don't know exactly what is going on or why it's happening in the way it is, there could be an energy that wants to take advantage of that. So be very careful who you let in. Be very careful whose energy you let into a situation. Try your best not to be, um, you know, telling people your business. Don't look for support in a Capricorn person right now. If you can help it, take it if it resonates. Of course, this is not a message for everybody. But some of you are like, I know exactly who you're talking about. That message is for you. And look at that. As the outcome we got here the ten of cups so that's absolutely lovely things are going in the right way they are heading in the right direction you are going to be experiencing fulfillment excitement beautiful loving connections here and success you're gonna be emotionally fulfilled and this is kind of like a good confirmation that whatever would make you feel emotionally fulfilled is most likely to happen but I got here at the bottom of the deck, the three of wands. So there could be some additional waiting involved. And I know that this could be literally the worst thing you can hear from me right now. 
Um, but I do sense that the universe is putting all this pressure on you to almost get you to a point in which you're so strong that the pressure doesn't even face you anymore. It's like, it's almost as if you're going to be... Let me see if I can find an example that applies. Or just like a symbolic thing. Let's say that you are locked inside a room. And at first, you may feel very claustrophobic, you may feel very stressed out, solitary confinement vibes, you know, very, you know, it may freak you out. And you may realize that you know, someone doesn't have the key or whatever. And the more that time passes, you're just getting more and more comfortable. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to go ahead and, I don't know, use whatever I have in this environment to chill, to relax. And before you know it, you do not feel that fear that you had at the beginning. Before you notice, someone comes in with the key, opens the door, and you're like, you know what? I wasn't even having that much of a bad time anymore because you sort of got used to it. Well, that's what spirit wants by putting you in this space of pressure, it seems. For you to just get used to the pressure and not be faced by it. Not for the limbo of not knowing something, if that's the case for you. For that limbo to not have power over you anymore. And it seems to be working. And I get a feeling that some of you could be fearful that maybe this waiting means that something is not going to go your way or whatever. And Spirit is saying, no, no, it is going to go your way. You know, the process is just what we are in a way choosing for you so that you become stronger. So basically what you want, wants you, what you are aiming for is coming. It may take some time, okay? It may take a while. And the most you take advantage of that and really develop that ability to be relaxed almost in the eye of the hurricane, um, the better it will be for you, okay? I love you guys so much. I hope you know that. And um, I would love to share more and more readings with you. You will notice that in my channel, now there's gonna be kind of like the same reading um, one showing my face and another showing the cards and that's just because I know that many of you like the different formats and you can go ahead and watch the same reading in the format that really resonates with you, okay? In the description box below you will find everything, my website, my personal information, all the things that all the different ways in which you can support the channel and in all the different ways in which I like to support you guys. So check it out. There's always new things. And I would personally recommend you guys sign up for the email list because that's when really all the magic is going to be happening. I'm going to be refraining from announcing certain things here on the video so I don't, you know, make it overwhelming or, you know, add too many plugins. I know that's kind of annoying. So check out the email list. You're going to be receiving so much awesome information that you can use in your spiritual path. And a lot of discounts and coupon codes and really fun things over there, okay? I love you guys. I'll see you in the next reading.